farmers in Uttar Pradesh state are preparing their fields to plant wheat as winter crops ripen. But they worry that their labor might go waste as growing numbers of stray cows wander into fields and eat up crops. This farmer in Abupur village spends much of his time patrolling his fields to chase cows. Whatever the crop I planted, they did not leave anything. Then I planted mustard, hoping they won't eat it, but they ate that up also. Now they are eating up fodder I have grown. Our problem of strays is worse because we are close to the road. Neighboring Didoli village is also coping with the havoc caused by stray cows. Their numbers multiplied after a Hindu nationalist government that swept to power in the state in 2017 made protecting cows, considered holy by Hindus, a top agenda. Stricter punishments to prevent cow slaughter ended a trade in aged cows that were previously sold for meat or hides. In the last six months, the problem has intensified by 90 percent. Now it has increased because everybody is letting loose their animals. Farmers are devastated. Some farmers are using barbed wire to protect fields from abandoned cows. But most cannot afford sturdy fences. Some tie silver-colored strips hoping to distract the cows. Villagers worry that the stray cows have become a greater threat to their crops than weather uncertainties. Arun Kumar, a relatively well-off farmer with 16 cows, keeps his aged animals. But he says smaller farmers cannot afford to feed unproductive animals. We have told officials, leaders, whoever we meet, that this is the biggest problem we face today. They say we will think about it, but so far there is no solution. There are no quick fixes. Although Hindu charities and the government run shelters for aged cows, most like this one are already overflowing. The government has imposed a tax to build more shelters, but funding will remain a challenge. Every government has a right to follow policies on the basis of faith and belief for social reasons. But the government should be aware of the cost implications and should provide for it. You can't put the burden on the, on, the, on the farmers. You can't take the burden on yourself because if you do that, then your allocation for other social sectors will, will, will come down. The government has vowed not to compromise on its goal of protecting cows. But as general elections loom, angry rural communities are seeking assurances that their labor and livelihoods will also be protected. Anjana Pusricha for VOA News, Uttar Pradesh.